I had a chance to catch up with the one and only AJ Matter, who is responsible for bringing us all those awesome bands that we get to see every year at the Soundwave Festival. Are you still in Sydney? I am still in Sydney. Well, I'm actually really excited to be talking to you. It's very nice of you to give me your time. You're a very, very busy man, aren't you, with all these festivals? By the time we're done, it won't be as exciting, but go ahead. (laughs) So I was going to ask how you got to own some of the biggest festivals in Australia, but I've done a bit of research, and you actually started the Soundwave Festival in Perth back in 2004. What were you doing before that? What got you to actually start that festival? Were you booking bands or what were you doing? Well, I started actually uh, writing for music magazines when I was about 16. And, you know, from there I got to write bios, press releases for promoters and record companies. And from there I got to do publicity. And it kind of was, an, it was a gradual, natural progression, I suppose. Right. Did you, when you were starting this, did you ever imagine that you would be running some of the biggest festivals in Australia? Oh, not at all. I was just doing it for a laugh. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was, you know, I went to university and I got various other jobs and bits and pieces and, you know, this was something I was doing on the side and then everything else ended up being what I was doing on the side and this kind of just took over. Soundwave is on, of course, it's on in Melbourne tomorrow and then you're heading to Adelaide and Perth, which is funny because you're actually not going to be going to Perth anymore, which is where it all began after this year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really sad. But, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where the reality of the situation is that, you know, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne have been uh, subsidising Perth, you know, since the thing went national. And uh, to my mind, I'd rather sell tickets for $20 cheaper in Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne and Adelaide, you know, where rather penalise those people for taking the festival to Perth. But it's also a combination of, you know, it's just a perfect shitstorm of, uh, you know, the Perth government, both at local and state level, being very, very difficult and making it really clear that they don't, you know, they don't want to deal with festivals and they don't really care if they don't go there. Yeah. Uh, combined with just the sheer expense of going to Perth, which is just crazy, you know, we have to put 60-odd trucks across an olive board and, you know, 5,000 people over and accommodate them, etc. Combined with the fact that, uh, you know, there is a so-called mining boom over there, which is good for the, you know, 4 or 5% of the population that actually work in the mines or the people that are involved in the mining industry, but effectively driven the price of housing and everything else astronomical for the rest of the people who aren't involved in mining. So, you know, it's just... Sadly, in Perth, everything that could, could go wrong has gone wrong. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'm devastated that we can no longer take the festival there. Yeah. Well, with the end of the festival after this weekend, do you get any time off or are you straight back into starting to organise the festival like Vans Walked for November? I'm already, I'm already booking the time with for next year. You're already booking it? Correct. So it, it, there, there's not that much of a break. I'm already booking Big Dad for next year. And, uh, you know, we're, we're putting together various models for Warp as to, you know, what, what, whether we'll go ahead with that or what we'll do with that. So, yeah, no, it kind of doesn't stop. So you're still involved in Big Day Out because I have read some, you know, there's been a bit of controversy over whether you would still be involved in that. No, the controversy is just, you know, created by basically, you know, I, I use the word journalist very loosely here, basically by people that are desperate to get clicks on their website. And so they'll just come up with any old load of shit and, uh, you know, try to kind of create some kind of uh, controversy where it none exists. Exactly. I, I mean, most people know you from the headlines from when you, you know, vent on Twitter occasionally and that. But, <laughs> but if people watch your Twitter, like I actually stalked your Twitter a little bit during the Brisbane and Sydney sound waves. and. Yeah. It amazes me that, for one thing, I'm not sure if you actually sleep at all because you seem to be on there most of the night. And you talk to people, you look after the kids who go to your festivals. If they're having problems, you send your assistant to help them. And Well, look, you know, I was one of those kids. So I completely understand, you know, if anyone's got an issue or a situation, we try to, you know, we do our best to help them. Also, you know, I don't believe in having barriers between people that put on the show and people that come to the show. I think a lot of people tend to forget, including bands, promoters, you know, etc. 
phone head of security people, so they forget that those fans are paying your wages. Those those fans are the reason you're here, and you, know, you can't lose sight of that. It's just you know, I find it unbelievable that people in the music industry forget that the fans are the basis on which the music industry is built, not the bands, not the promoters, you know, uh, and not people's egos. Yeah. So what does AJ Matter do to relax? Do you play golf or any? do you do anything to relax? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't know which end of a golf club to hold. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got given a set of golf clubs which I've donated to my old man. <sighs> it's really sad, but I, I don't relax, I suppose. I'm, you know, just, I, I go to shows if I've got some time. I actually go and try to see bands. Oh, like looking for bands for the next festival. Correct. Yeah. Can I ask? Do you have a favourite band on the tour on the Soundwave tour this year? It's so hard because I've booked every single band on the tour this year, so it's it's really really hard to kind of pick one. I'm really happy to finally have the Living End. This has been like ten years in the making trying to get the Living End on Soundwave, so to have them this year is really really special. Um, chosen me go on a treat, but no, there's so many bands, so many great bands. Amazing band called Let Live. Mm. Uh, we've actually got a bunch of Germans called Boss Hoss, who are hilarious. <laughs> uh, and I highly recommend people try to catch them. Who are always good fun, as you might have seen by the press that they get. You know, yeah. if you don't mind being covered in fake puke and fake blood. At least I hope it's fake. You know, they're always good value. Mana Mars have uh, bought a fire breathing Viking ship which is a giant pain in the ass and needs its own truck. Uh, there are so many highlights this year. It's amazing. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've, see, now you just mentioned all those bands that I've forgotten. The first one you said was one that I'll oh, let live. Yeah, I actually really like them and I didn't I didn't get an interview with them. Damn. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I didn't get corn either, but it's probably because I'm not some big headline newspaper or overpaid radio journalist or something, but it doesn't well, matter. I, I got I, eight I, interviews. I think, I think uh, Pennywise, I'm really, I'm talking to them tomorrow. I'm really happy about that. Right. And Five Finger Death Punch too, so that'll oh, be good. Oh, you've already done that interview? No, they're two that I'm doing tomorrow that I haven't done. Right, um, but doesn't the show go to air tonight? Oh, yeah, but I'm coming to Soundwave tomorrow and I've gotten eight interviews to do at Soundwave. Wow, that's unreal. So none of them will actually go to every gig. That's great work by my publicity team. Yeah. No, I did 15 in the lead up. Fantastic. So but I've got eight to do tomorrow. Oh, good. So I'm going to have a busy day. That's why I'm staying in Melbourne for the couple of nights. Well, make sure you come by and say hello. <laughs> I will definitely you look for you. Do you have any shows tonight? Uh, no. I did notice you actually, you've booked, uh, you've booked King Parrot today to play at Soundwave tomorrow. How many bands have you actually booked, like, at the last minute to play the next day? Well, it just depends on depends on the circumstances or if any of them are spot because of that. But uh, you can't run a really, really good man. You're cutting out a bit at the moment. Everyone in the Sydney Hub. Um, these cars are amazing, and I'm sure they're going to be one of the big breakout bands from Australia. Right. Wow. So... Do you get to the festival like at the start of it or do you roll in a little later? Uh, it all depends on the day or, you know, what's happened, you know, that morning or et cetera. But I generally try to be the, you know, try to be one of the first. Right. Can I ask you, I do know you're married. Do you have any children? No. Nah. No. Please have time for kids. Well, the bands are your children. Yeah, I suppose, you know, once a year we get to have, you know, and the fans, everybody else. You know, once a year we get to, you know, Parents, I suppose, to a large group of people. Well, it's at least twice a year, probably yeah. three times with three different festivals. Yeah. When you're booking the bigger bands, the headlines and that, do you try and get them and depending on their timing, which festival they go on or do you target them for a certain festival? No, we try to get in there, you know, early enough in the piece and, and with a long enough, you know, lead up time to try to, you know, get them to, to, to make their plans around our dates. Mm -hmm. rather than the other way around, because it becomes very, very difficult. Uh, you know, unless you've gone up 18 months in advance and, and said, hey, we want you guys to play the festival, it becomes very difficult. Once two fans are late to change things around and try to mould, you know, there's when someone bought on the festival. Yeah, and so well, what do you see for the, your future? Do you see just keeping going with what you've got going now with Soundwave, Vans Warped and... 
big day out, which, by the way, thank you very much for bringing Van's Warp Tour back to Australia. That's a pretty damn good festival. Oh. And I was very happy to get to see the used this year. Yeah. Uh, you, you're in that tunnel still, aren't you? Because you're breaking up real bad. Oh. Seems I've lost AJ. Just give me a second and I'll get him back on the line. I found you again and... I, I want to thank you very much for the time you have given me. I know you're a no, no problem. You're a very busy man. I'll definitely find you at Soundwave tomorrow. What's your assistant's name tomorrow? Uh, Raul. Raul. Raul is the guy tomorrow. He's amazing. He was uh, my assistant at War. Cool. And it is like people. I tend to think of, it, to think of them more as victims, but anyway. <laughs> Well, I think people should definitely have a look at your Twitter and watch you on Twitter because if they just judge you from the headlines, then they don't know you at all. Thank you, Kat. And I look forward to meeting you and I definitely look forward to Soundwave tomorrow. Thank you very much for the awesome bands and festivals no that you bring us and your time. And thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye, okay, Kat. bye. Sure. Very excited and very grateful for... AJ Matter sparing me a little bit of his very busy schedule.